Hello guys! Welcome back to day two and three, I guess. I'm sorry I missed day two. Um, day two happened on the frickin' Kegler Minecraft meetup night, and unfortunately we didn't get back until like 3 a.m. And we were all exhausted at that point, and uh, I'll, I'll talk about that a little bit later, but that, I just want to quickly explain why there was no little vlog there. Sorry, I'm, I'm going to be looking at my phone here because I woke up with, uh, or not woke up, but I wrote down some stuff so I can remember because this this whole weekend has just been... Hi. You wanna join me? I ruined it. You wanna join the vlog? Did I ruin it? Do you wanna join the vlog? I'll be behind the camera. Why not? I can film it really good. No, you, you gotta, come sit down, come sit down. We could, you could talk about your first time. All right. Am I sitting the side there? <clears throat> well, I haven't really even been to the convention yet. <laughs> <laughs> let me let me make sure it's good. Just sit down. Just sit down. Is there room for you? Yeah. And if I do this. Okay. God damn it! Everything's falling over. Beast. So I got interrupted by this asshole right here. I'm oh, already yeah. recording, by the way. Are you really? <laughs> yeah. Okay. So I'm just explaining what happened. I woke up the other day. And the people at the Rosa Center are awesome because I was up at room or floor 15 and everyone, these guys are all in room five. So I asked if I could move down to room five because everyone's down here and they, they allowed me. And I lost my toiletry bag, so I had to buy like my toothbrush and everything. We went, so to, we went to the greens. The greens is what we call it. It's our hangout spot. The, the Walgreens, which is just like right, right next door. It's open like 24 hours. Uh, after that, Doc M and B00 did their, their basketball tournament. I walked halfway with Zisto and, and uh, Mr. Beef here. And then he turned around. <laughs> and I kept walking. See? <laughs> to the Zisto, far lands. Zisto and myself, we woke up. And we, it was like about 12, 12 in the afternoon, and we we haven't eaten yet. So we had no idea where this was. It, it, it was about like a 20 minute walk. We were like, it there's no end in sight. It further than that. Yeah, so. They, uh, they got to see it, and I'm pretty sure you guys saw, saw the footage on uh, Doc Am's channel there. And after that, we pretty much went over to Firkin Kegler and signed a thousand freaking photographs. I always call them photographs. The uh, postcards. Postcards, which was crazy. My fingers are pretty sore. I don't know how That was awesome, dude. That whole event. The whole event was awesome. Yeah. And uh, there's there's these huge statues of us and little mini statues I got to sign. His, his crotch. Someone, <laughs> someone who, I don't know who you gave the statue to. He, he's like, I gave Boss, it come here. I want you to sign the crotch. I think so. never signed my teeth. And <laughs> he still signed like right between my eyes. But uh, yeah, we we uh, after the, after we signed all the the postcards and everything, we a couple of people showed up early, and around seven o'clock we had our our dinner, and which was which was pretty cool. Mm -hmm. There was a uh, there was a lot of people though. I, That's why I sat next to Ito. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Team Canada is represented at MyCon. Uh huh. But uh, no, the dinner was good. It was typical pub food, though. It was nothing, nothing too great. I had the fork and salad, uh, chicken Caesar salad. I had chicken fingers. And I, I got so sick and tired of cutting all my freaking leaves up. I just ate the chicken and the croutons that I. Dude, I had chicken fingers. I ordered chicken. It was supposed to come with fries, but I ordered coleslaw instead. So instead of just giving me a side of coleslaw, they gave me two tiny cups of coleslaw. <laughs> So I sat there eating coleslaw from tiny cups <laughs> the whole night. That's awesome. Yeah. Uh, after that, uh, you know, we had our we, we little little meet and greet at, at the top there before we went all downstairs. We looked downstairs through the glass and everything, and my I got butterflies in my stomach. It was there pretty was, crazy. Everyone was like literally looking up at us. Yeah. And it was just like, this is going to be crazy. So I think I was like the first one that went down because no one else was going down. And uh, we, it, we, the dinner ran pretty late. I think it was like half an hour later than, than what we wanted. I ended up going down with Zisto. <laughs> and as soon as we turn around on the stairs, that's it. We, we, had, we didn't move from there for yeah, how many I was, hours? I, I don't even know. I, I got stuck at the front entrance there for, for quite a while there. And eventually, uh, Rob, a.k.a. Old Man Willikers, he brought me into the, the bar area and he took a vine and there was like this huge line. I, I didn't even realize how huge it was. Like... The entire experience was freaking amazing, just meeting all the yeah, all you awesome. guys who showed up and everything. But I really wish there was a little bit more time to have a little one-on-one -on -one conversation. I know B Double O did that, but that uh, that ran on for so long. Yeah, I tried to talk to as many people as possible. 
Some just didn't. Some just wanted to sell an autograph. Yeah, some people just came up, but I don't know. To leave. I always think the craziest thing about this is like when the the fans come up and they're like all giddy and excited and shaky, and when they take photos, they're just like you can feel them shaking. Yeah, and everything. it's so weird. <laughs> <laughs> so for the first time uh, showing your face like that, how was that for an event for you? That was fun. Well, that was like that was eye opening. Really, that was kind of crazy. Was it a good eye-opening experience? It was good. It was really fun. I got a lot of cool gifts. A lot for Bubba, too. Yeah. Well, I think Bubba got more gifts than I did. <laughs> Zelda <laughs> got none, you jerks. No, yeah. but uh, I don't know. After after we signed like tons and tons of pho uh, photographs again, autographs, we uh, we went to the break room for a little bit, and we went downstairs and played some one round of bowling. Oh, God. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I, 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 I won just by a little. It was it, it was a great right, thing. Yeah. I was just teasing him. I said, that, I said that... Uh, I'm gonna retire. I don't never gonna play beef again. <laughs> I want to be the reigning champion. champion. Yep. So, uh, so this is why this there's no vlog yesterday. After the entire party ended and everything, you know, uh, we had to pack everything up and everything. And Good has this U-Haul that we put all the statues, like the big statues, in that I'm pretty sure you guys saw on Reddit. If if not, there's photos on Twitter and that. And uh, we put that in the back of a U-Haul. And we didn't get back until about 3.30 in the morning. At and least. Oh, it was closer to 4. Yeah, it was, it, was, it was damn early in the morning. Or late in the morning, whatever you want to, however you look at it. Uh, after that, we... Because we needed to put these big statues in Minecon. And... Yeah, so we got the... At one, when, when the event was over, we had to load up all the statues that were at the Firkin. Put them in a U-Haul truck. Take them back to the hotel. And then... Wait two hours. Wait two hours <laughs> to get into the convention center bring over the U-Haul, unload all the statues, so we were working... You know what, I, I was thinking this morning, I wonder if they actually closed the convention center. I bet it was open the whole I night, bet we could have just done it right away and actually ha had some sleep. We, we waited until 6 in the morning, we had to call Dinner Bone in, because we didn't, we, we had no idea where to put these statues in, so we, I made a vine of the guys waiting in front of an elevator, it's like, oh, sorry about that, <laughs> and uh... It was crazy because people saw the statues and this was like at 7 in the morning. There were so many people already there. Yeah. They were taking pictures, getting autographs. Unfortunately, we couldn't talk with everyone because we were trying to get set up. Yeah, and we were trying to hustle it. Just because it was like 8 in the morning. And none of us had slept. Well, you slept yeah, for I slept an hour. for one hour. That, I hadn't that slept didn't do anything, anything at all. And uh, you, had to get, you also get to, had to get your badge and everything. Yeah. And uh, But big thanks to Ditterbone for helping out too. He, he showed up really for early real. and helped us out and got beef his, his badge and everything so after that i i only had like three hours of sleep this guy slept the half of my con get at it listen i had been <laughs> awake for like 48 hours straight and good, good had to wake up at uh 10 i think to do something he i don't know what he had to do anyway when we finally got done putting the statues um in the convention center and putting laying it all out we came back we went to sleep uh, probably nine o'clock. Yeah. Probably nine o'clock is when we actually got to bed. Nine a.m. <laughs> and then I couldn't sleep because Good snores like a banshee. So the whole time I was awake. And then at ten o'clock, somebody had to come, or I had to. Oh, that's right. I had somebody come visit around ten. Uh, you had to give him a ticket. I had right? to give him a Minecon ticket. Uh, give her a Minecon ticket. And then afterwards, I went. I tried to get back to sleep. Good still snoring. <laughs> <laughs> so zero sleep for me. Then Goo gets up at like better in here, man. Goo, a better Goo gets up at like eleven o'clock and he leaves uh, with his wife. So that's when I actually started sleeping. So I got What's five quiet? hours What's quiet? total. Yeah, five hours of sleep in like the last two days. So I slept <laughs> till about four o'clock in the afternoon and then I went to the convention center. So <laughs> for like the last two hours. One of third, it. or not even one third, maybe like one eighth. You were there for yeah. the first day, but yeah. for me, I. I I came back in at nine o'clock and I set my alarm for twelve. Woke up three hours later and I was groggy as all hell and yeah. I did not expect to get bombarded right away, but it was crazy. It was just I don't know. It just just the sheer amount of people like coming to you right at the get go is it's always nerve wracking. But you, I I don't know. For me, I always find myself I get into the groove of like talking to people because sometimes it can be awkward willing when there's like a, just a really shy kid, you're like, oh, I don't know what to say. Exactly. But uh, I just say always hi. ask. Yeah. Come I'd, up to you and just stand there. I always just like, <laughs> ask them if they're enjoying Minecon and yeah. all that. But uh, pretty much all day today is I just signed a lot of stuff. BWO had this huge freaking queue. He, he was like from like 
or 12 in the in the afternoon until like pretty much the end. He had this huge line, but then at like three o'clock, uh, Captain Sparkles came down <laughs> and all the people like in his line, line. <laughs> all the people in his oh, line went really? to, to Captain Sparkles and everything. So B W O finally got uh, a little bit of a break that uh, there. I only checked out one panel, though, the creatures panel there, because Old Man Willikers is, is friends with Sly Fox there, so went to go go check that out. I did I, I didn't expect to get asked to sign signatures there. I had like thirty people come up at the end just to come see me. And oh, after them. the panel? Yeah, it was oh, weird cool. because like it was a panel for the creatures, so I didn't expect anyone to really know me. But yeah, after that, uh, we pretty much just went to Universal and ate at Bubba Gum Shrimp, <laughs> yeah. which was good. What, what'd you get? I had the Dixie Fish sandwich. <laughs> The, what was it? Fish sandwich? Was it the fish yeah. witch? That's fish, it. Fish witch. Dixie yeah. fish witch. Yeah. It was great. Yeah. But uh, God, I, I I didn't realize that the the park closes at eleven. We were there till like eight thirty, so we only got yeah, to ride it took on forever. Three rides. There was ten of us though, so we had to wait forever to get even to even get a table. Yeah, and of course, Good and them had drinks. The the yep. magic that they couldn't bring <laughs> a in. A whole lot of drinks. <laughs> it was just pure alcohol and no mix and everything. But uh, the first ride we went on was the uh, was it just like the Hogwarts Hog Hogwarts Express? Or Is whatever? that what it's called? I don't know. It was Harry uh, Potter themed. It was great. I don't though. know what it was. It was like this weird little ride. It was like not like a really roller coaster, but it it had like this IMAX. It would like bring you back and everything. I got a little dizzy, but it was awesome nonetheless. And they had like all these animatronics coming at you. Mm -hmm. The spiders part though, I hated that because there's like the spider that like spat. Like, I tried to kick them. I, I missed it. I saw you <laughs> try that. But no, it was it was it was a crazy experience. I've never been on anything like that, and Badge is the one that that suggested that. Yeah. After that, we we then left and we wanted to go on the Spider-Man ride. Our whole entire group got split off. Like, I don't know how you fell behind like that. Cause Goob like went off somewhere. I don't know where Did he you went. <laughs> yeah. And you somehow just kept on going. I kept on. going with the. With and the I was group. like. I guess I'm trying this butterscotch beer or whatever, or butter beer, or whatever they had there. Butter beer. Uh, these these ladies suggested I tried the, the the freezing cold one, they're the slushy one, and it was good, but it's too sweet. I had to throw like a three quarters of it out because it was just like pure butterscotch at the end. There. That and, sounds gross. Too. Yeah, but the the Spider Man ride we went on was like a 3D animated, or you have to put on these 3D glasses on, and that was a good, that was a fun dude, one. That was crazy. The just, water and then the heat. The heat, stuff, the yeah, explosion when the it went fire, through the yeah. Yeah, And uh, there's really there's good. one where he this guy shoots you with like a gravity gun. And you get like yeah. thrown in the air and you, I don't know how you do it, but like the falling effect. I know that, that was, was really, really bizarre. Like it, there's like this really cool falling effect and Spider Man saves you at the end by like spoilers. I'm sorry. <laughs> Gosh, <laughs> what if people want to go on the ride? <laughs> Bleep. <laughs> Uh, but after that, uh, we, we just went on the teacup ride and... Oh my gosh. God, set bling. Teacups was... are not made for two <laughs> no. huge people. Yeah, we're like both like six plus feet and, and that and we had Jess Vaughn and just another fan who rode with us and Seth bling was on it prior to us and uh... With dinner bone and a yeah. couple of other And guys. they were like, they're all tiny and skinny so they were like able to spin and <laughs> me and him, our legs were intertwining and my leg was getting <laughs> The cut kid behind, beside us, he was getting crushed I think. <laughs> so bad for him. We're trying our hardest to spit and up my legs get yeah, stopped you probably have like metal pole some and everything. Rub or something. Yep. But after that, apparently the oh what's his name? The Hulk? What, what? Oh Mark Ruffalo was there. Yep. Uh it was by the Hulk ride. Yeah, the guys from the shaft went on the, the Hulk ride and they got to ride the Hulk with the Hulk. Mm -hmm. Which is which he bragged about <laughs> quite yeah. a bit. He bought a one of the bought a, a little picture so I can they can show that off yeah. But after that uh we pretty much just ended the night and came here and that's and here we it. are. Yep. And now this. <laughs> <laughs> you realize you're just like gonna be like that's okay. The fanfic people are gonna love that. That's okay. But cool. uh, yeah, that's gonna end. I guess today I, we got one more day left at. Uh, my and I'll be there all day. Oh, he will be. I'll finally get some sleep. Maybe uh, I might sleep here tonight for real. If you want, dude. I'm, I'm telling might. you, it's, it's open. It's brutal over there. Yep. And uh, tomorrow I got two panels. I got the the podcasting panel. And then we got the Minecraft panel. I don't think you're going to be at the podcasting. I don't know. But for my panel, I am going, I'm cosplaying as something. You now, are. I'm, oh, I'll look at, look great that you see what that is. Oh, yes. <laughs> you guys, oh, it's, it's going to be live streamed and so you guys are going to love it. But uh, that's going to end this one off. Thanks, B, for randomly showing up. No I don't problem. know what the heck that was all about. I just but... to interrupt you. <laughs>
I don't know I was going to be roped into this. <laughs> well, now you are. I wanted to be the cameraman, <laughs> get zoom-ins and stuff. Nope, not today. All right. But, uh, yeah, well, I'll do one more, one more. And I forgot to tell you guys, because it hasn't really been announced, I'm going to L.A. for one week with Rob, a.k.a. Old Man Willikers. Vacation. 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 That's what, that's a legitimate vacation, because we're, like, five days in L.A. But uh, the weekend after MyCon, we're going to BlizzCon and everything, so it's going to be crazy. Man. And... I got lots of videos already for, set up for it, but anyways, that's going to end this vlog. Hope you guys enjoyed. Any last words, Beef? Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.